Whiskey and Wade Show. This is episode number 29. You. And you know the crack by now. We are in association with Dragon Claw Whiskey. The best whiskey in the game. And maybe I had a bit too much Dragon Claw Whiskey on Friday night. But maybe, maybe. Maybe. You can never have too much. <laughs> you can't. Have, you're right. Never too much. Never too little. Never too little. And uh, we'd like to say... A massive, massive thank you to each and every one of you who came out, showed support, bought tickets. And the Davenies for at the, And the Davenies too. And our special guest, Paddy McDonald, Paddy Barnes and Sean McComb. Mm. It was on real. Party. And don't forget, uh, yep, okay. our very own, well, I was, I was leading in there, I was leading in there. <laughs> our own producer, the voice behind the camera, Shawnee Mac, and the, his band, Search Party. You know, they rocked it. Unbelievable, unbelievable, Nick. And thanks know. for coming. Well, if you haven't got the merch on the Nick, because the merch there was, there was, there was a mix up, sale, there was a mix up, there was a mix up. But Big Tommy Mac came to save a day at the end of it. Yeah, but if you want this, the the merch, go on, land their website www.whiskeyandweight.com and wait. In case you, you think it's on, it's nweight.com. Yeah. That's where all the yeah. merches, merches, stories are. The videos, everything you want, everything you need is yep. on, on online. And then, as we always say, Patreon, the thing that keeps this thing going. It's only two pound a month now. Come on, two pound a month. Get all the extras. We're going to be doing a lot of prank phone calls this today. Today, yeah, it's prank day for Patreon subscribers only. So all, all the fun, of, yeah. all the fun shit is in Patreon, basically. Well, it's fun here. As well, it's fun like, here as well. But, but it, the, the Patreon, all the people who sent in the numbers. Of those who you want to get pranked, that'll be on Patreon. So yeah. if you're not subscribing, you have to now. Get their two snoozers out. And that's, <laughs> that's but listen, crank. it was a big week for us. Brilliant week. A massive week for Whiskey and Wheat. It was our first live. I was a nervous wreck. Oh, uh, up to a million, this guy. <laughs> Do you week. know what? I didn't want the. You, you're, you're a man that, that's been on the circuit for a while doing like comedy guys and going out to crowds and stuff like that I don't know my experience of going in front of a crowd is, is fate night which is completely different to that night so when I walk out to fight I'm, I'm, every fighter is nervous we're, we're going out to fight in front of thousands of people there it was a different vibe it was a different kind of nerves that I had I was like I'm going out in front of 500, 600 people it was a sold out crowd in the dev and I was like, fuck, what if this flops? And I, all my head, I just kept on thinking, it's going to flop. Every time that thought came into your head, you're like, get another drink. I <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, see, I've learned now, I don't think, even think I need to have it, have a one paint before, because it wasn't even that bad when I went out. I, I see, once I get one this- paint is good enough. Well, a couple of paints is all right. I thought you were drunk enough. It was okay. Like, yeah. But, um, I, I thought, you know, I'd loosen you up. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was a perfect mix. But see, when you get in the seat, you're chilled and relaxed. There's there's no there's no worrying. Yeah. And as you say, you couldn't see the crowd. I, the only people I seen... The were, very front the row. The very front row, yeah. and that was it. That's the only people I seen. Everyone else, pitch black. And I was like, fuck. It actually it's, It just feels like a normal podcast. Yeah. So, I know next time that... I don't need to be worried as much. And folks, there is a next time. Yep. So watch this space for the announcements of the dates when it's coming out. Our phones have not stopped for dates. The, the people want it. The, everyone wants a piece of the action. The scene the success of day one. The yeah. first the, the first life. Not even this, we're not even pro to this game yet. No. We're, we're only six months deep. Fuck's sake, 29 weeks. 
Oh, well, I mean, hit the 30. And uh, yeah, so we got a few phone calls over the weekend to book us in. A couple of big ones. Probably. Don't phone me, I'll phone you. <laughs> <laughs> We're putting the price wasn't the same as it was yesterday. Yesterday's price is not today's price. <laughs> That's what I was looking at. <laughs> <laughs> and then I also want to throw out their avid listener, Homer and Azo. Is the scumbags? Oh, so the Trump fell for the ugly. Thing. I fell for two things uh, during that night. So the first one was that uh, I, I was uh, I was a guest list for for a few few family members and whatnot. And then remember, Carl McGuigan, my my uh, boxing agent, phoned me. Here we're not on a guest list. There is no such thing as a guest list. And I was like, fuck. There's twenty people. I was like, fuck me. Everyone's standing outside, not getting in. I was panicking, going mad. And then it turned out that was a lie. I don't know, talking about the guest list. I haven't got the guest list. You may go down and sort it. <laughs> hey, run down. There's a big queue of people trying to come into the, into the, into the show. And Paddy Cunningham, who was running it, um, he was like, Get out of here, Paddy Amphra. We're both down there. But you get out of here. He's like, What about the guest list? What the fuck? Are you <laughs> to get the fuck <laughs> out of here. Oh. <laughs> but the, the second thing was Homer. A guy I grew, grew up in my street, and he had two, both of them, they both grew up in my street, and I know him well. But I don't, obviously don't know him well enough, because <laughs> Homer texted me during the week, and he was like, here, he had was getting engaged right before uh, <laughs> right, right before, before the show. The show. I was like, fuck, happy days. He's like, will you not do it on the show? Like, we'll get him up on stage for the challenge, and then he can do it there. And, and Homer's like, nah, he, he's too shy, he'd shit himself. And I was like, right, fair enough. He said, but can you shit him out in the show? Uh... I love it too. All his missus love it. I was like, right, fuck it. And I got up the stage. It's on my carvey. Happy engagement. Congratulations. Blah, blah. I hope she said yes. And they were stunned. And they looked so confused. I was like, why do they look confused? It turns out they've been engaged for 11 years. And I was <laughs> very late. They're married. They're ringing. <laughs> so, yeah, so, congratulations on the, the engagement. It's on. So for the next one, kids are pranks in order for a turn because he falls for everyone. <laughs> I'm a gullible man, so he's but, mad. Enough. You know, you say gullible slow, it means Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> but what about this? This unbelievable one I did on Tommy McCarthy. Oh, so, <laughs> then I'll talk about falling for the uh, yeah, lovely no, ducks. Exactly. So I was, I was Tommy. Obviously, I don't drive, so Tommy's picked me up in the car. And uh, I said, right, well, I grab his four style for a... Uh, it's Paddy. It's on a lot. Hello, George Davnish. Cut. Hey, Paddy. All good. We're actually just recording a podcast right now. We'll phone you after. All right. No sad. All right, bro. What is it? Yeah. Price of the bricks, man. up. Yeah, 40 hood. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I so he said he's picked me up. I said, right, I'll grab his four style for, for going down, four cans. And I was drinking my we want one can. There's three or three in his car and I was like, here, I'm busting to go to the toilet here. I'm gonna run on in. I had finished my can of style, so I had left it there. I said, Can you grab him all three style? I'm way to the toilet. I walked in, I walked in, I ordered a paint at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> and I walked, I didn't go to the toilet. I stopped. Did you know? <laughs> I stopped. I thought you were genuinely going to the toilet. <laughs> I stopped there with Paddy, Paddy Cunningham and Fra. With a uh, big fucking salad with, glass. With my big paints in there. And Tommy walked in with a sea can of salad to the tablet. They were like, what the fuck are you at? What are- Tom, and they all just start saying, like, throwing Stan out with his paint, laughing. They were like, we heard, we heard you're a tight bastard. And you, you, you came in with, you come in with a six pound carry. I was going, <laughs> it's Tyrone's, they're Tyrone's. And Tyrone's going, ah, sure they are, sure they are. <laughs> Don't you look look sick. Like, they're, they're his fucking commerce. His nerves are fucking through the roof. You, you look like a Trump. I know. But then it, when, when the... Realised that you were a nervous wreck yeah. and you end up drinking all of them. They no, seen no. it, they were like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a prank. It's Tyrone's. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that was a great night. I was surprised at how, uh, how the turnout, first of all. Yeah. I'd say there was about, I know there was, a, there was nearly 500 tickets sold and then I'd say about... Yeah, because it sold out on Eventbrite. So yeah, it sold out on Eventbrite. Tickets, and, then and then with the people says, look, come on down to the door. And uh, people were sending messages. Listen, all them tickets were away. 
can you pay it on the door? And I was going, I'm on down, I'm on down. <laughs> and, and then Paddy was like, say no, no you fucking no, not. <laughs> no one's giving me any more seats. <laughs> but, uh, we still, we still say that I come down. <laughs> we don't want anyone to miss it. Because you didn't want to miss it in the tenor, Tommy. It's a wee tense, but, <laughs> but uh, you know, people, if they want to support, I won't fucking tell them no. And yeah. at the end of the day, I would say a lot of people in there had never been to a live podcast. I had never been, yeah. you never been, as we discussed. So we are all wanted to see what it was like. And the thing is, also, I know it was so late on Eventbrite, but there was quite a few people, just legends from Patreon, from, yeah. from subscribers, from like UK, Scotland and all, that had bought tickets just to support us. Yeah, so sure they do. There was like about, I'd say about 30, 40 people done that as well. So It was good that you done it, but... Your seats that you had were taken. <laughs> so <laughs> You wouldn't have had seats to be keen. But uh, that's why I would did say to people, come on down, because we knew there was going to be 30, 40 people that actually didn't show up because they're from yeah, far from away. from far away, yeah. So, but it was good the way Paddy McDonald came out first. Yeah, he was leaving. And we, we, we cleared up the... He's a seasoned pro at this point. Seasoned? He's actually took his mud blood on tour. Has he? All right. See... Like he, he They're you, big in Scotland You tell he was just The season yeah. product Knows but what he's doing It was good To get You know Because a lot of talk about Is that Roy King story True or false mm-hmm. So Paddy was able to Verify Verify Go into the details Of how He even know. ended up In this position But the story just took So many twists and turns uh, I was insane Like It was mad <laughs> So I think we <laughs> If we could do an our podcast with him, the find out it's the other stuff. The, I know, <laughs> but uh, it was great. I love the uh, picture coming up. Oh, I, <laughs> I, I know, know that was brilliant. That was brilliant. My dad's asking for the picture. Is, Is he? he? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get him. Up. But uh, was your dad? Her? Oh, I was yeah, talking to dad. your man, dad. And was that your sister or something? No, um, my man, dad went, um, and then the my fiance him? went. Hmm. Um, what did they think? What did everyone think of it? Yep, yeah, my mom was going. I can't hear your man Sean McCall Magnum. Oh, <laughs> really? Smack, <laughs> smack down, was he? Now nah, your yeah. dad loved it. Did he come up. Ah, he was loving it because my dad's a boxer. You see, oh, was I? he? Yeah. So like, um, oh, so he was. I party on. Oh, he Um, but so he was fucking loving it. He I I said, soon your man dad come up. Your dad was talking about me saying I'm about to enjoy it and all and. Your man was down beside him, but I'm like, oh, is is this, um, are you Paddy's mummy in as well? And she was like, yeah, it's me, so the McDonald's are here. She went, well, I'm a, I'm a cattle. <laughs> I know, yeah. For fuck's sake. I just don't let out. Don't, don't take anything to do with My confirmation name was Cahill as in like the first name. Oh. Because <laughs> she wanted to make it sound like my name was Cahill McDonald. For fuck's sake. <laughs> It kind of threw me off here because I've obviously husband and wife son. All oh, right, it's the McDonald's. Well, I'm a cow. <laughs> Fuck us, maybe I snap parties, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but great night. It, it seemed like everyone was buzzing as well. Like, I don't think I got one bad report. Nah, which everyone, every, a lot of people saying they were, they were gutted that it was over. They want to do it all over again. You were cracking up. He hit me the last half of it. You sort of nudge me in the leg. Cause oh, I, he, I said, right, we'll wrap it up after. No, way Tom gets on. <laughs> if, Sean was in the middle of the story. No, no, no. But I was listen. I was it's half an hour. My, my thing laugh. was, I don't want people to be like get uh, uninterested, and, and you'll start hearing murmurs. I want people to hundred percent every second of it loved, and well, it yeah. didn't go on. Too Sean long. will come. See, had the crowd in the palm no, of his hand, but see, and it was flan, and he started going. No, I don't say it straight away. It's uh, it's yeah, like, it's how noise like so fuck let him let him that, go. Let's wrap it up after that story. <laughs> but like see the thing is see but <laughs> I hear this bust up the going again. Because as soon as she went, right? I've talked about <laughs> and I heard a couple of people. <laughs> but the thing is, see, because the bar isn't open during the, the show, so I know for a fact people finish the paints, they're gonna get itchy wanting to get an hour paint. So I think like a half an hour of each and then the challenge obviously, half an hour of each thing is is perfect. And it was perfect. If, see if it, I actually think Sean McCombs and Hing was over half an hour. It was like 45 It was. Minutes. I know. You were trying to wrap it up in half an hour. And he was... Right. There was still a couple more talking points. I'm a stickler. And you know what? I have to give Tehran ultimate credit because he planned the whole show. He, he put the stage together. Yeah, he designed you. all the stage. He, he made the fucking... Um, 
the right. overhead, the slides, the pictures. He 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 put the um talking points together. And he 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 created it, and then I just we're, we're the, carried it. We're the perfect <laughs> deal. I can create shit yeah. from back back, but the the stage, the fucking what to talk about and stuff. And then you're 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 kind of the it. stage. And then at the end, it was funny when um we're trying to do the challenge, right? Oh, so we had I it planned out. It was gonna be the place went crazy. I got three from the crowd. Then I said, we're looking for three people. Next thing was a stampede that was crazy. Freaking stayed. My cousins everywhere. Cousins, all these people. Oh, it, was, it was a gig. And Tron, I was trying to organize it and couldn't see Tron. Hey, Tron, where are you? I gave up. He was just... I gave up. Just fucking... I, I, do you know what happened? My friend, Cahill McDade, it was his birthday, so I said, right, I need to get him up. And he was he would not go up and stage because he was drunk. He's like, no, no, and he's standing there. He's like, fuck it. So I marched down, gripped him, brought him up. And then once I got him up, I looked at your end. So I had got him. Everything was normal when I left the stage. Got oh. him, dried him up, and there was just mayhem. People just you, kept coming. You, you were just shouting shit. Sean McCombin <laughs> shouting shit. And I was like, I'm sitting down here. This is fucking <laughs> mental. So I was just going crazy. People wanted uh-huh. up to do it. I saw my auntie was up. I saw my cousin was up. It was my auntie, yeah. even my cousin, different sides. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it Great. was McKenna's v. the Canavans. Uh... Canada came up top. It came up. They came up trumps. It was actually. I think it was my auntie ruined the other team. I know. She took too long sipping. I, I, I had to down it for her. She uh, uh, like, I the the three people were already on stage who we were looking, and then your auntie come up, Amy's friend Darvla come up, mm. and then these R three wee lads come up, Mick and Jordan. Did I don't have, know them. Did you have to turn anyone them? away? I was like, no. Do you know what it is? We'll just put these against each yeah. other. It was good. It was good. It was better. Jonesy. It was like life and death situation. Oh no! Don't they? Funny you haven't seen the epic picture of Jonesy. It looks like fucking. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What it's like fucking a Savile pile shooting for Usain Bolt going to the <laughs> the, in the relay in the last hundred meters. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. Fuck's sake, Jonesy. He had he put hours of practice in that coming up that, that week. He tags me on Sunday. He was still in. I know. <laughs> Fuck. Well, he, well, he texted me on Saturday. He was in bed and then oh, he got right, a few hours right. and then he went back okay. out. So it wasn't that bad. Right. But uh, shout out also. I want to shout out. She's on her Patreon. She, she bought me sunglasses. You're a legend. I appreciate it. I love the sunglasses. Where's mine? You aren't cool enough. Yeah. I always want to wear sunglasses. Get like, them off the fuck. Nobody oh, wants to see them. Take off your new fucking tattoo. What the the whiskey and weight jumper, Jesus. I'm representing. Jesus fucking Christ. Don't I'm representing. Hasn't been off since Freddy Meat. It hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so we were like, Jonesy took it off for a wee way and then put it back on. <laughs> Jonesy was fucking soaking. Oh no. We were fucking drinking. I don't, think he, I don't think he drank any of that drink, that paint. He doesn't drink beer. He also, I was in a. <laughs> so he cheated then. <laughs> he did. He did. He needed an appeal. <laughs> but um, it's no one was a big hit. Everyone loved it. Paddy Barnes' is handwritten. Ah, fuck me, the most messages I've ever Did you see that handwritten? How bad is that? That's the worst thing. I, I don't know how the fuck that taxi man knew where he lived. I don't know. Because the way he talks when he when he talks when he's sober is impossible. When he was on the stage talking, you kept going. Paddy talks though. <laughs> Paddy <laughs> talks though. He's fucking hard to understand, what not he? Uh, 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 and then Paddy drunk because he was blocked at Nathan Kelly's. Him, he couldn't tell you where oh. he lives, and then he wrote it down. And I don't know how anyone understood what that said. <laughs> and then it was freaking. What I thought was the lane of the night, the best lane of the night was Paddy McDonald. His brother was talking about being a black black taxi driver, and then you're like, I'm a black taxi driver as well. I'm his taxi driver. Fuck's <laughs> 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 well, sick, but uh, not great night. And I'm excited for the next one. Yeah, I, I was forced. I'm actually. Uh, I was forced upon the first one. Didn't want to do it. It was a success. I was raging. It was a success. But see, the, the, the next, next day, day the next day, Tommy's like, you'll not believe it. Uh, such and stuff have been on this. They're doing our fucking show. And I went, fuck sake. And he went, it went brilliant. I said, fuck sake, it went too well. People are wanting to show more shows. I phoned him and I was like, Tyrone, last night was a success. I think we could retire. I was talking about boxing. He was like, ah, oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> One and done, that's it. There's too much anxiety in this game. I don't want to do an R one. Yeah, let's retire. And I went, 
What are you talking about? Talking about the fake game? <laughs> no, no, fuck. I had no more podcasts. <laughs> fuck sake. Listen, it was fucking exciting the next day. It was fun. But, uh, I, was, the- I was going around trying to, to organise the crowd as well. Were you? Because at the back, I noticed in the first half was where more people were talking. Right. So in the second half, I was going back and forward along the back, going like Shh. patrolling. Were you? Were you? <laughs> <laughs> like no one like under a like oh, I could see who it was, and I was going like, <laughs> and That's I could scary. hear other That's people smart. like joining in on it, and it, and then it was fucking. The end, they all fucked up. Love it. So I love it. You know, That's that You're so thinking, mild. thinking on the on the bounce. How did you find it? Uh, your Nate. Class. Class Nate. Yeah. Your Unreal. Really I just it like from like us. Like starting this a couple mm. of months ago, just the, like that, the hour night, it was just unbelievable. Know, the yeah. amount of support, like, people recognize your voice instantly. I know that is, you just need to talk until the boom. That's Sean, the For podcast. We've made like Sean, we're starting talking. Somebody comes and says, Tommy, can I get a picture? Will you take it, mate? So I'm like, oh, no problem. Fuck, Sean, <laughs> get to him too. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fuck, I'm excited about it. How did the lads find it, the search party? Aye, they were all busy. Like, we were our, from early on, like, you know, getting yeah. the gear ready and, like, setting everything up. Yeah, see, when I heard the, the, sound, check. the sound check, it was lethal. Rocking it. The first time, obviously, I've ever heard is live. Or, I think I heard one of your songs. What was that, that song you get that? Nicole. Nicole. I've heard that song. But uh, other than that, the live, lethal. Loved it. Seriously. Um, but... Yeah, successful night. No madness happened. I was worried there maybe like drunk and fading or or hackling or something like that. Mm. But there wasn't. There was, nah, not there was not the show was. anyway. <laughs> well, I, I I was actually not that I'm encouraging it, but I was like expecting people to be shouting up stuff. But the stories were that captivating. Mm. They got Patty McDonald's story about the Roy Keane thing was just mm. like I said, it was taking all twists and turns. It was mad though, where people had to listen. Then, Paddy Barnes was, I think we, he didn't even really tell a story. We actually more or less just slagged oh, him for 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and he just sat there and t- um, slagged us back. And then, Sean's story was like unreal because the Joe Brawley thing. And then, no. the Australia getting arrested over, like loads of people in West Belfast wanted to know why. Yeah. He got arrested, so it was. It was. Yeah, I think like Paddy and Sean's Paddy McDonald's and Sean's were like interesting stories. Yeah, and then Paddy's were just funny. funny as fuck. Yeah. Paddy's B segment was just. Paddy's was a laugh because his had the most slay shows now. Yeah, we had, like we, we, had all, we, had, <laughs> I know. we had the docked out a few pictures of. <laughs> I know, I know. Fucking a few stories. So like his one had was packed up with like big clips and fucking like a clip of him talking in the. The Olympics is ridiculous. I oh, know that was so bad. I don't know if I think I, there was just silence of people just like scrambling their eyes. Trying, what the fuck is he saying? <laughs> and uh, I had to tell him what they what, he said, what was said. I oh, know, I oh, know. For fuck's sake! I know because everybody as soon as the finish talking, everybody was everybody just saying, was like, "Yeah, well done." <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. you were like, "Don't, don't clap, man!" <laughs> <to get racist>. <laughs> 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 oh. But I uh, know successful Nate enjoyed it. Um, Glad it's over. Stress is, is finished for a while. We're probably going to release another yeah. one next week or two. Yeah, we're, we're going to go and have a couple of meetings. See what um what the lay of the land is. Mm. And feel free to give guest suggestions for the next live. And uh, give us give us uh, how your night was as well. Yeah. What, what happened on your night? That would be matters? good. So we should do that on Instagram. Get people to send in. Uh, like how their night went and then we'll talk about it next week on the show yep, I like it I like it um, but you've done a gig as well straight out of, you were a busy weekend this, a busy, busy week. week so on Tuesday right mm. I fucking done the Empire oh, nice Empire that's, the, you know the big league that's a staple yeah. of comedy for, for yeah. comedians in Belfast in North of Ireland like that's the spot you strive to like if you're a boxer you want to be Ulster Hall yeah, that's the also hall yeah. of, of Belfast for for. So you know what I mean? That I'm just making waves. Was it I'm good? on the fast track, fast it, friggin' track. Was the comedy hub what it's all all about, or um, what is it about? That? I don't know. I've it's never the, been before. It's the hub of comedy in Belfast. So tell me, I have there was, to be honest. Like, I think it goes in my favor. My kind of naivety towards it. Um. 
it's basically, you know, I'm so green. I'm green like grass in this comedy game. So I went into it just like as another gig. But, you know, it's iconic. It didn't, it didn't feel like the accomplishment of it until after I've done it. I was like, mm. fuck me, I've just done Empire here. There's people waiting well, 20, that, 30 fucking is years. Is it? a bit, it's not a big venue, is it? It's so big so enough, I, like... Yeah, you can hold, like, hold 500 stunting, but for the comedy nights, there'll be, like, tables. tables yeah, yeah. So uh. I think it's maybe, like, for two, three hundred. Is it it is big enough, and it's, like, big, like... No, like, I, I, was, yeah. I was on the balcony when, when I went or whatever it is. So now it was that was good, and then Friday night we done our show, which, which was, was banging. But we just talked about it, obviously, the successful. And then Saturday I went down to New York, done a show there now. Hold on, sorry, <laughs> I just remembered something about that. So Tommy, after the show, this is this is how you know, money hungry Tommy is. Tommy straight out of the show. Just finished, and you see him bolt from the stage to the merch stand and start selling all the fucking merch. Hold on, a no, 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 let okay, me finish. Sell all the merch straight off the bat. Like, I mean, it, it didn't take, he was like, he's in bolt, he was using bolt and sprinted to the merch stand because no one was at it, sold all the stuff. And then that night went around the bar buying everyone paints <laughs> with the fucking money from the merch stand. <laughs> it didn't give me no, I didn't see a penny of this merch. Merch money? Once again, we, we, we do a stance every week. Tyrone, <laughs> Tyrone throws out a spin spin on a story and then I have to give you the facts. So what happened was we had the merch stance set up and was a mis- mis- th- there was a miscommunication. We thought somebody was coming down to, to work on it. He never went in. Oh, but, right. We just didn't know that. Was yeah, that we, we thought that he was, we, he was there and then so everyone was going, hey, people's looking to buy that merch down there, but there's nobody working it. But your man didn't even people know. People are looking to buy it? And then I was like, fuck. Tommy so I was going, let's make turn. No, I'll do. At the end, I'll go down and work on it and sell it. I was going, no, fuck it. Fuck it. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I, have, I waited so long then. And I was going like. I thought, no. I thought you wanted to relax and enjoy it. I says, no, I'll go and do it because like, we fucking paid for it. The, mm. the beer. Mm. I was like, nah, nah, fuck it. Just leave it, just leave it, just, you know. So I went down, people were coming up, buying the, buying the merch. And really, the, why would I give you the, the money? Because we, that was the money the that old. we have to pay, that we owe. <laughs> and, I, and I did buy a couple of people a couple of drinks. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> Do you know what? You're just trying to shake off your stereotype. It's not a stereotype. <laughs> it's a label that you're putting on me. I heard you going up to someone going, here's a paint. Did Tyrone buy a paint? No, because he's a tramp. <laughs> Did I? Yeah, he's heard that. <laughs> I don't know if this is spin again. I don't call you tabloid, Tyrone. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that, that's what happened anyway. And Tyrone is that reckless. He was willing to say, ah, fuck it. Just fuck all the stuff. It doesn't matter. No, Somebody that, had to pull it. Had to pull their socks up and say, "Look, then we're going to try and try and shut this out to people." What I thought we should just done is pack it up and bring it home. And she, you pack it up. You went straight in there, boy. <laughs> you want me to pack it up? Yeah, yeah. I'm Dude. leaving with something. <laughs> 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 but uh, <laughs> and then Sunday night. I done the Sunflower Club. What was it? Like it's it's a small. It must be a small I, one. Fifty people, but the room's not that big, so it's like is it, packed. Is there two floors of Sun Club? Because I've only been in the bottom bit, and it's tiny. Right, the bottom bit that was packed too. They had like we Irish tradition along. Yeah. Place was buzzing, and then up the stairs, place was packed. So that, that was Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Big Mac. Drinks, on the stage. Drinks on you. You must be raking in the coin now. I didn't even have any drink. People go, oh, fuck, how was it? Like I said, I don't drink before going on stage. Didn't drink after them because usually drive to the gigs. The live night, I was looking forward to having a good old blow it, but he <laughs> left me hand dry the merch sound. No, no, no. Don't, don't you and try and... No, but the, the, obviously no, the, 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 the everyone was then. drinking, but no, like during the show. So you're playing catch up and then... Mm. I was there doing a merch thing and then when I went in, it was late in the bar. So I must have had about three drinks. But uh, nah, it was good. I was I was loving life. I was talking to Paddy 
McDonald laughs and I was like, oh, I'm down here and I'm in the sunflower and why, man? Fuck's sake, you're out more than me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're doing well. You're flying for it. Um, but, yeah, like success story for, for the week for, for Whiskey and Wheat. Yeah. That's the main headlines. Yeah, yeah, that is the main. And, well, and, and, and do you know what? Last night or Sunday night when I was in... Um, the sunflower. Mm. That usually every time I they introduce me to the stage, the MC, like, this is a fella. He's only recently started doing comedy. He's a boxer. Um, blah blah blah. But they're always introduce me as the boxer. Mm. In the sunflower, first time ever. The next man come to the stage. He's one half of the duo, whiskey and wet. Very funny <laughs> man. Get up for Tommy McCarthy. Who hey, was it introducing you? Don Matthews. Was it? Uh? I. Yeah, there we go. It was great. I felt we sat to pray to it. <laughs> do you know what? Uh, do you know what? Everyone was loving your daughter's uh, t-shirts. I after, know. After getting grief on them on Twitter. I don't know. But I was just I one was the, guy. It was, was the hot seller. I, was the, I don't know. It was the ticket. Yeah. So, Brana, get drawn more. I'm glad to see Turns embrace the, the thing. He didn't, wear his, he didn't wear a t-shirt on the friggin' show. He not wore one now. I You're know. not even trying to sell see, The funny thing is, I was wearing one on the show. Nobody but seen it. Him. Was, it was under my shirt. <laughs> well, also as well, Tom. Speaking of like, fashion, well, uh, a lot of grief. A lot of grief lot going of your way. Uh, yeah. People, people say, me, does he actually dress again or that for the show?" I was like, "No, he's a fashionista." <laughs> so I got some grief for what I let's, learned. Let's clear it up. What was the? What was the? I, I walked in. My dad. Behind it? My dad turned around my mat. Why is he dressed up as an old man? <laughs> <laughs> and then loads of people call me Jerry Adams and and uh, just stuff like that, pedophile and whatnot. <laughs> Dahmer? You were uh, wearing your Dahmer costume? Yeah, basically. So I was wearing that then clothes and my, I sent my picture, a picture to my missus and said, what, I'm a drippy tonight. She hates that word, drippy. Yeah, I'm a drippy tonight for the show and she's like, you better not be, because like, she hadn't, didn't, yeah. didn't see my feet. You better not be wearing their fucking slippers. And I just <laughs> I, I sent a wee picture of the slippers. But you mean these wee things? Nah. Well. You mean these wee things? And she said, you're a fucking tramp. And, uh, <laughs> it was funny. Paddy McDonald pulled one off. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? Yeah. He said in his neck. I, no, I think... Uh, did my, sh- my slip No, he pulled off? one off. I thought it fell off when I was like... Reaching my leg over? Uh, no, he pulled it off. All right, well, that's Hello. even funny. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know, but it was funny. And uh, he he straight away griefed me, Jerry Adams. So what what was the um in sport behind that? I get just, up? I think it looks good. I think old man Luke is what's in there. It is so anyone watching? He's one of fashion trend. There's no I'm fashion Easter. You call me. So get on the old gear. Go into thrift stores and get old people's clothes because that's what's in. Tommy wouldn't know. He just wears the same clothes every day. Listen. And a, and a, fake, and a fake chain. A fake. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> but yeah, I did get a lot of grief on that. But it is what it is. I'm not... what are you, what, what's your thoughts, Sean? On the night? No, on the get-up. On, on the get-up. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> <laughs> See, anyone who doesn't want to say something bad. It's different, Luke. Like, ah. yeah, he's different. What's going on? I was different. So I was he's different. Try it. Try it. I'm, <laughs> so I was taking it all apart from out. the slippers. The slippers? Uh, the slippers are, are, do you know what? I went into town to get brown shoes and I couldn't fucking find brown shoes anywhere. And I said, do you know what? Brown slippers. They look like shoes. It'll do. It's an old man look. I'm going out. I, I want to look relaxed. So, boom. There I was, relaxed. On stage. Loving life. Well, you know, the public... Or crucifying me, but fuck it. No, no, no. Fuck games. It is what it is. They hate us because they ain't us. I wanna put, but do you know, see how the day after the, obviously it was anxiety ridden, didn't go do nothing, but I did walk a dog and brought him down to the Falls Park. And I, so this is off topic, by the way, but it's my weekend. No, well, I get my weekend. You get I you. walked in the Falls Park. It's fucking rammed. With uh, teenagers. Like, I oh. I didn't know how bad it was. I remember you used I to told you before. Yeah, you used to say about it. Was my my daughter was um going through a wee rebellious teenage well she's still going twelve on oh no, well she's settled <laughs> she's settled down there but uh twelve thirteen don't know I used to go this is a thing as well for parents out there you people I used to think when I was a kid um it's the parents' fault 
Like, why are they not going to grip with their kids? But parents don't know that their kids are down there. I didn't know that my kid was down there. Mm. And, uh, fucking, I ran in. Not somebody, I, I don't know, one of, one of our teammates turned on her. You know what I mean? You can't trust no, no names, one. no names. So, uh, I ran down in, into the Falls Park. There were three work hard. I thought. What is she? She was like 13. <laughs> and, uh, do you want to see it? It was like a friggin, like a festival, like a rave, like kids everywhere. That's they're, crazy. They're playing fucking the, the big amplifiers. And it's not like we smicky kids. It's like kids of all. There's hundreds of them. Hundreds all of them. All different crews, all in different yeah. spots of the fucking thing. And I was like, I, I got my eyes open there. And I know for a fact that the majority of these kids' parents, probably all these kids' parents don't know that their kids are in here. Mm-hmm. And... They're fucking getting black and snather, and it was funny. They're coming up to me, trying no kids or people trying to act sober when they're black. All right, Tommy, I, I haven't seen car, but the serial teller looking. <laughs> I know you think you have to stay until Friday night. <laughs> but yeah, it's mad. Did so, you did you ever drink in the park? I said I didn't drink until I was. 17 because of boxing yeah. mm. we, we were good boys just stayed in the gym and train I did drink once we could catch you when I was 14 on a on a boxing trip but once one and one and done oh. and then I was 17 and then you gotta blame my wife for making me drink because I didn't drink until I met my wife and then she was out every weekend so if I wanted in there I had to I had to play ball <laughs> You need to have Dutch cards. <laughs> you don't have no fingers left. <laughs> Would have been like the Bansi of Annie Sharon every time we came for sex. <laughs> 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 what happened in the park anyway? No, I'm not just, uh, I'm just saying about how many kids there is. Like, it must be every single kid from West Belfast goes to Falls Park on a Saturday night now. Um, but I did feel a, a sense of glory. Night after the Whiskey and Weight live, two separate people out walking their dogs. Where listening to their earphones and the stabbing, they're on. And we're like, Look, and they were watching whiskey and fucking wait on the show. Where two people, where they're walking, and falls apart. I was like, Fuck me, we are them. We are. And I was like, Fuck, you're back, bigger than you are in boxing. I was like, No, boxing's fucking taking a back burner. Boxing's the shit, you know. There's been a, there's been a shift where the YouTubers are coming in and taking over boxing, we're, and we're the taking, boxers are coming in the YouTube and taking over. <laughs> We're in a topsy turvy. I don't mean it. They, they don't know what they're getting in for. These guys, they think they're going into the fake game. It's all fun, and fucking so games. Hard. Boxing's the hardest fucking. There'll be no drinking in the park for KSI and Jake Paul. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be no <laughs> There's no going to christenings, weddings, parties. You're sitting there eating chicken and rice twice yeah. a day every day. You're getting punched. We you're going to training. People don't realize you see most boxers go to training. They've got an injury. Oh, so they've a couple unreal. injuries Fucking elbows Fuck the shoulders Fuck You're putting their body fuck. Through the mill And you have to go training Whilst Starving yourself Because you're in starvation To lose two stone So you have to go training Train your body So one of the hardest Training sessions you'll ever do While in injured While starving Getting punched in your face It's the worst sport in the world know, Somebody get, needs get, to get, Talk to these YouTubers Because <laughs> They're doing tag team boxing And everything now And it's like <laughs> Let's Trust me, just what? stay on YouTube. Tommy, it's Tommy, funny to watch. I like. would suit you down the ground. Tag team boxing. Me and you. <laughs> you it's lazy bastard. Tag team fucking wrestlers. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I go in double jab, team. tag and turn. Out of puff after 10 seconds. But anyway, man. Because I haven't fought since August, I put on some fucking weight. I'm just a mess now. Yeah, I tra- I'm training, but I'm just not bad. And I don't give a fuck how much you train. If you don't get that. You're a fat cunt. Yeah. Well, well, what about the um, mixed new fits? Uh, I heard so. Are you using. Uh, you know, big, big, game? big. Well, that's Toronto's team, right? You're using the team, Cameron. I'm a two big different shows, promotion. Man. Two big shows got released this week. Uh, well, Katie's was released a couple weeks ago, but Katie Taylor's had the press conference. Yeah, her press conference this week. And it's going to be an unbelievable show. It's in the free arena. Um, it's for the. All the belts, isn't it? Uh, um, two, uh, two divisions, isn't it? And then McConnell's uh, fight has got re- announced this week. Mm. It's an unbelievable scrap as well. Lopez, I actually can't wait for that fight. Lopez beat Warrington. It's going to be a lethal fight. Um, I've heard rumours of Long the card and if they get signed up, it's going to be unbelievable as well. I'm excited. World title boxing back in Belfast. 
Where it belongs. And I never seen that guy. Like, well, I must have seen him, but I didn't recognize him. I recognized the name. And I just saw a picture of him and Mick Stan beside each other. And I was like, oh, I'm going to knock his body like something. So I was going to write a picture, but everyone keeps saying to me he's uh, not no, to be he's, played it's with. A, it's a tough fit. It's going to be such a fit, I think. Um, I think Mick's far better boxer than him. But Nemanja Lopez is good. Um, but no, I'm excited for that. I'm excited. And hopefully there is talks that I'm going to get on it. Um, but there is talks that I'm going to be trying to fight someone else elsewhere in a different city. So whether that comes off and then... I'm not on the mix show or that doesn't come off. I'm on the mix show, so we will find it in the coming weeks. And if I'm on it, get your fucking tickets. Well, okay. if I'm not on it, still get your tickets. Big week for you as well, Tommy. Title yeah. fight this week. You oh, are. Wow. <laughs> your big title <laughs> fight. <laughs> Just fit on them sending me my playing tickets. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, um, are we doing? Are we going to do the the prank phone call with Kurt Walker now, or what we do for the Patreon? I need guys number. We need to get his number. Right, we're going to do it. He'll do it for us because he's part of Team Conlon too. Right, so and he'll be on the bill for it. Okay. Bar with us two seconds. So B R B. You ready? <coughs> do a play in there, Tommy. Hello. Hello, is is that Kurt Walker? Yeah. Hey, man, it's Dejon Blake from the Money Team. I think we spoke briefly at the fight. Hello? Who is it? It's Dejon Blake. Yeah, what's happening? Yeah, uh, hey, man, Coach Booth gave me your number, man. Um, and what I'm ringing about is I've seen that you have posted a picture with the champ and really... The champ does meet and greets at 1500 all right? But we know that you're part of the team. You work the corner and that. So I'm going to send you a cash app, and you just drop a little 500 We won't say nothing about it, all right, champ? Because, you know, money, he, he's upset about that. What's happening, Tommy? Who's that? It's Mick. Fuck's sake, Mick, you racked it. Mick, Mick, Mick Connors racked old son the game. <laughs> what had him? Did you use the Italian? What, who? Yeah, fuck off, you done the Italian cup. Who's the Italian? Yo, some Italian comes for ring me all weekend, fucking doing my head. Nah, fuck's sake, that's, that's not us. That's not us, that's not us, that's you clean it. Ah, fuck's sake, Mick. Right? Who <laughs> <laughs> had him? But had he cut? <laughs> right, I'll send you. I'll send you my bank details anyway. Five hundred. Right, later. I'll give it. I'll give it away as you call. <laughs> See what I was ringing you about. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, your voice too right now. But we can't do. We had you. Kurt Mick fuck that. I think so. Mick, but anyway, I would see Mick will know us because we'll, we'll, we'll do a blank smack and buy a dragon claw. No, now that the game is over, we've talked enough shit, as I like to say, every single time. So, I'm going to give you three names, and you do it, today, right? So, okay. I'm going to do Search Party. You have to smack off four of them. Okay. The, who else? Um, come on, who else we got, Sean? Kurt. Kurt. And um, Mick Connell. Well, smack Mick. <laughs> we were ragging. We had Kurt Hercleaning. He was panicking. I don't think with this. What do you think, Sean? Because he put his own nose because straight away. And I heard him like no. eating off the wee bit. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not sure. Straight away. Anyway, who are you going to smack? And I'm going to blank uh, or Kurt. Kurt. And then I'm going to. Buy a dragon club. Well, search 40, search. not buy them, but there's four of them. <laughs> You can have a wee sip each. Can we call it Dragon Claw? Get your wee glasses in. How many is in the bond? Four? There's four in the enemy or five. Okay. Was it five? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for joining. Make sure to... And everyone, thank you really for coming to life. Yeah. Um. Hopefully, it'll be our next time. And yeah. bring, bring a friend. Bring a friend, because... Well, 
don't because there was no room. So <laughs> everyone who came last time just come again. <laughs> Me and Tyrone will love all of Uno and it was brilliant. Sign up to the Patreon. Two pound month. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And get the merch. Get the merch and do everything they got. So thanks and see you next week. Peace. Boom. Well, what is happening, people of the world? Welcome to episode 28. No, oh, 29. Let's re and come again. Okay. Second clap. What's happening, people of the world? Welcome back. This is number 28. Free with him. It's 29. <laughs> 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 oh, hell. Hey, Dad, you got this. <laughs> Ready? Take three. Tri- 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 <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, people of the world?